My name is The Adipose and this is The Simpsons Tapped Out and it is time to go to school because in this video we're going to be looking at how you decorate your Springfield Elementary. So let's get designing. Now before we look specifically at the school, um, later this week I want to have a look at the nuclear power station. So if you've got a good nuclear power station in your city that I could use for inspiration, please drop me a line in the comments section below. Now as before, we're going to have a look around at some other people's um, versions of Springfield Elementary. Some people, of you, those of you that have been nice enough to, to add me on Origin and say that I can use your cities. Um, and to see like what kind of objects come up again and again, what's common, what's effective. Now one thing I really like here of course is those graffitied walls. Um, on Omrinissanos, it really fits well with the school, of course, because schools have graffiti. Um, and um, it's a shame that's such a high-leveled item because we're not going to be able to use that one yet, but that's definitely one we're going to look back at. This is one from Mel Designer, and this is quite a compact school, and um, early on, especially, um, you're going to be running low on space, or I'm low on space at the moment because I can't afford it yet. So having a school which is quite nicely compacted together with those iron railings especially, um, I think looks quite effective. I think those are the kind of railings that I would expect to see on a school school perhaps more than perhaps the wireframe ones or, or different types and I'm sure Santa agrees as well. Here's one's from um, Show, Rub, Show Rob if I'm pronouncing that one correctly. Again we've got a lots of that play area type um, stuff you know we've got the the swings there the tires the gymnasium equipment um, and th things like kind of trash in there as well to kind of make it look like it's a building that's kind of being well used those red walls and the volleyball um, have, a, have make a nice appearance so this one kind of looks like a quite a, a play area which I think is quite an effective um, way to display a, a, a place which is you know suitable for kids and things like that um, in this one, we're going looking at Nuclear Videos HD, and again, we're seeing Volleyball Net and the, the Gymnasium and the, the Seesaw, and of course, Willie's Hut, and for the, let's, let's point out the, the bus as well, of course, which comes with Oto. Now, that is a premium item, the bus, um, but it might well be worth spr sprushing, um, splashing out the dollars, as so many good designs um, have that in it, and it is a key part of the show, um, the bus as well. Um, moving on to um, Nathaniel's uh, design here. Again, we have Odo, who is a uh, Otto, sorry, who is asleep. And um, this time, I like the inclusion of the Springfield Library next to it. I'm not sure he's completely finished this area, but um, as we are going to be short of space, putting kind of rel relatively similar buildings together would make sense. And the library, the school, both kind of edu educational places. Um, that and again, we've got those um, that kind of um, that that steel fence there, um, or the iron fence, I should say, um, might be something I'd like to incorporate into my. My design. Uh, this is one from Tartan Cam. Um, this is a, a, a more simple design, but what it's got, really, what works really nicely, is the symmetry. Uh, the two trees, the two bins, the two benches, um, the car parking section at the back, the the, the the symmetrical graffiti on the top, and that's a nice idea as well to bring kind of bring into because the, the building itself is symmetrical on both sides, so it makes sense that the designs are as well. Here's ones from um, Yoka Bloke, and this one is very agri agriculturally based. You know, lots and lots of trees. Willie's hut there in the in the kind of park area, a little river outside, a very kind of um, you know, a very picturesque school, I think, um, with some useful roads around there as well. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do with our school? Now, of course, as always, there is no right answer or wrong answer. It's just uh, whatever you particularly enjoy. But this is what I came up with. Now, I was, I was because I'm still at level 15, I don't have any of the seesaws and the swings and uh, the volleyball nets and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm somewhat restricted in that. I'm also running quite low on space, but I could not resist um, buying that bus. And I thought the addition of the library next to there was um, was it was a good one. Um, I thought the I put the I got the the uh, Lisa's gymnastics bar from the uh, the snakes uh, well, from Whacking Day, and I put those in there as well. Um, I used the the iron railings which I'd saw, and that symmetrical design that we saw on tartan cams as well. The idea of having uh, flowers on the left and right and bushes there. Um, quite a few of the designs kind of lined the way to the entrance in a way that I was I thought was quite effective. Now, sadly, I didn't have room for poor old little Willie Shack. Um, mainly because um, I haven't quite unlocked enough space yet. But as soon as I do, I'm going to open up the back area of this school, add in some of those um, um, seesaws and, and swings and stuff once I've unlocked them, and put Willie's shack in there as well. Hope you found this little look in at um, the Springfield Elementary interesting. Uh, do like the video if you have enjoyed it, and please subscribe if you want to see more, Sim more Simpsons tapped out videos and lots more as well. Take care. Bye-bye.